Ghana, 700 to 1240. Ghana was the first truly African state. Most Africans still lived in tribal village societies, but Ghana, a center of the gold trade, opened up new possibilities. The medieval kingdom of Ghana lay farther north inland of today's nation of Ghana. Its roots lay in the 300s when the African Saninke tribes were ruled by the Maga, a Berber clan from Morocco. The Berbers had mastered uh, trans-Saharan camel travel and traded salt for gold from the Saninke. When the Arabic Muslims invaded northern Africa, there was an uh, upsurge in the gold trade, and by 700, Ghana was rich and important as a trading center. In 770, the Saninke ousted the Maga and built a nation under Kaya Magan Sise, who became the Saninke king around 790. Ghana's capital was the city of Kumbai, Ksale, where Africans and Berbers met and traded. During the 800s, Arabs traders described Ghana as the land of gold. The gold came from Ashanti and Senegal to the south and west, and trade routes led north and east to Morocco, Libya, and Aksum, and so on to Europe and Asia. Ghana reached its peak during the 900s, controlling both the salt and tra uh, gold trades. Other goods that passed through Ghana included wool cloth, luxury items from Europe, and leather goods and slaves from the south. In 990, Ghana took over the neighboring Berber kingdom of Adagost, making Ghana 500 miles or 800 kilometers across. In 1076, however, it fell to the Almoravids, a puritanical Berber Muslim sect, the Amoravids ruled Morocco and Spain, but they fell in 1147, and power returned to Ghana until 1240, when the country became part of a new African nation, Mali.